Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Nico Nero here, and welcome to another episode of Mapping with Nico the Pro. So last time I showed you this map, I only did the first level. Well, guess what? We got the second level up and going, and I'm gonna show you it right now. So what are we gonna do in today's video? We are gonna do the third level. The setup is already in place, but I have to make the level itself. If you don't know what this map is about, then you can check out the video that is gonna be a card just right now. And also it's gonna be in the description, and just as an end screen. And I'm gonna do a little playlist that is gonna be like Hour of Code. And then I'm gonna be all of these videos. It's gonna be awesome, okay? It's gonna be like the thing that I did for Cactus Escape. So yeah, I really cannot wait. But first, let's uh, watch the beginning introduction again. So this is Steve. This is a tree, and Steve would love to break the tree, and you need to guide him, so you go, and then you can do level 1, getting wood, you can go forward, and then destroy, so when you do play, he's gonna go forward, you, you, you're gonna go forward, oh. do I need to be in Gimbo Chu? do I, oh my gosh guys, this is actually supposed to work, I don't know why it's not working, oh my gosh, I think I know why it's not working, so basically, when you press play, it's supposed to clone this part down here, but it must do the same thing for every single level, the only problem is that the area gets unloaded, and so I cannot do it, I need to do multiple clones, I think. So as you can see, this is towards positive Z, now, uh, where is the command that makes me play it? I think it's this one, uh, yeah, this one, so I must just make it a little bit less on the negative Z axis. So as you can see, instead of going until uh, here, we will go until, I don't know, it's 700 and half. And then we're gonna do a command block just like this, but it's gonna have, uh, instead of this, it's gonna have this, but it's gonna be negative, of course. So now it's gonna probably work, I guess. We're gonna try it right now. Go play, 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 and then we go like this, and then destroy, and then play, and now it's going, as you can see, guys, it works wonderfully. And now we go there, and we mine the block, and we win, and now this is the second level, guys, I, I cannot wait to show you what I created. Look at this. Turn right. Don't you like the texture? Yeah, I made it. Okay, so you can go forward once, then forward again. Did I drop all of them? Okay, actually, if you drop all of them, they will just remain like this. So it's also really, really cool, you know, good. Okay, you drop it one more time, you're gonna be here. Then you have to do turn right. Then you're gonna go one more time again, one more time again, one more time again, and again. Then turn right, and then one, and two, and then destroy. So we will do play, and as you can see, it will go, then turn right when I tell him to, then go like that, go like that. Go like that, look, look at him just going, look at him just going, and then it's gonna go here, and I'm gonna stop it, I'm not gonna make it happen, okay? I want to stop it, you know why? What the heck is happening? I, I stopped it, why is it still going? Okay, I think I know why, guys, I think the same bug that I made for the, you know, clone command is the same bug that is affecting the field command, too. Naturally, if I get the render distance too far, this bug is not gonna occur, as you can see, I'm lagging right now, because I'm actually doing it, but as you can see, if I do that, now it's just gonna do nothing. Oh yeah, that's interesting, yeah, that, that, that's interesting. So yeah, if I do this, now it's gonna actually work, see? But only when I have my render distance too far. Now, so I have to do the same thing that I did for the clone command, I have to do it for the fill that actually resets everything. It's weird, yeah, the, the bugs that you find randomly, I, I didn't know this bug was a thing because I had a really high render distance, you don't have to do that. When you map, you always have to remember not to keep a really high render distance because stuff could get unloaded in the future. So now, I feel like I have to go... Uh, yeah, right here. This is the command. This has to go up to 700 like we did before. So 700 and then we have to do the same command block that instead of going up to 700 we we'll go from 700 to the other. So now it will completely work. But now once we finish, wait, okay. Once we finish this level, meaning we go here, something else must happen. You must go into the third level. And I feel like you must start, uh, I don't know, let's start here, okay? I'm gonna put a teleportation here. So we're gonna do set block like this. So we can do TP at, uh, uh, let's do all that are in Game of Two, Because, you know, this is gonna be single player only. If you play it with more players, uh, the others are gonna be in spectator mode. And also, let's see, uh, so this is like... Yeah, this is like 130 and 0, so yeah, I'm gonna do like this, 130 and then like the, uh, 0. So now if I have Gimbo 3, as you can see, it's gonna work. Also, I have to set this to sidebar, so you will not see it. And also, now we can put the command block where it needed to be, so we're gonna get teleported once we finish the level, meaning right here. I think I already have the TP set up. 
No, I don't. Okay, that, that, that's just well. Okay, so we do this and we go like this. Is there something else that I have to do? Yeah, I have to give the player the items needed. Now it's going to be a little bit more tough because here we will introduce something else. Meaning we will introduce the shears. The player, uh, I mean the, the Steve, has to get to the shears first. Then he has to break the fence. And then, and only then, he will be able to shear the ship. So what they have to do, we have to introduce a new item that is going to be the shear. And, you know... It's gonna be on the floor, so the player can take it, I mean the Steve can take it. So we have to make an item right here that never despawns and also is never pickable. So here you go, this is the command, I found it and now you can do like this. So basically what this does, it will summon an item that is the shears and it's gonna have an age of minus and a lot of numbers, I guess. So it's not gonna despawn and also it's gonna have a pickup delay. So this means that, you know, it's gonna take a while to pick up. I'm actually gonna make this a bigger number because I think this goes all the way up to the 32 integer limit. So if I make it a bigger number, it should be a big deal. I, okay, no, never never mind, don't do that. Yep, I, I feel like that's the bigger number. You cannot go bigger than that, so don't, don't even try. Okay, so as you can see now we have this item. Sorry for my voice cracks, I, I've, I've been sick lately, but you know, I'm back into business. So yeah, before continuing, we actually have to make that item. And I don't, actually don't know what block to use or what item to use because, you know, I, I kind of use this all, uh, use the, all the types of fish, as you can see. All the raw fish and also the cooked fish, as you can see. I've used them all. <laughs> I don't have any more of them. So what, what item could I use? So you know what I thought of? I, I thought of the discs. We could use all of the discs instead because we will never need those ones. So an, an example, we have record 11 and we can take this from this resource pack and then we can put it to our resource pack that is Hour of Code Minecraft uh, yeah, textures, items, and then we have to put it here. And now here, we can open it with, with a program, and then we can copy the shears. I'm gonna actually use the default 32 by 32 because, you know, I'm doing everything uh, in that way. So now we're gonna go in items, yes, and shears. Okay, so as you can see, we have them. And then we're gonna... Yeah, I feel like we're gonna encase them with uh, this kind of yellow. Yeah. So I don't know if I have to encase it more, but I think this is enough. So I'm just gonna do this, then go back on Minecraft, and let's see how our record changed. So let's go in the discs, I think. And look at that. Uh, do you like it? I don't... You know, I must say the truth. You know why I don't like it? Because, you know, it's different from this design. I probably have to take the 16 by 16 shears. I, I really don't like these ones. Here you go. I actually like it a little bit better now, as you can see. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the yellowish color. I don't know if I like it. You know, it may fit well with the other fish. Like this color right here. I I, I don't know if it fits well. I, I, I will try it. Yeah, I don't really know if it fits well. You know, I did like these ones at first, but then why, because I had to look at them for a long time, I started to like this, but I don't know about this one. Anyways, before going and finishing the video, I'm actually gonna make a little detect, we're gonna make like a, a system that when the Steve goes here, then the shears are gonna disappear. Why do I always rhyme stuff? So to make that in a simpler way, because you know, if I use the execute with the... Why did I do that? <laughs> if I use the execute with the coordinates, because the execute is a radius of 1.5, I think, uh, when the Steve will stand here, uh, it will actually still get detected. So I could do a system that basically will set a block to 1, uh, to this coordinates, a Y1 to sponge, and then it will detect if underneath the Steve there is like a sponge block, and if there is, then it's gonna do the things that I see. So as you can see, this is what I'm doing. I'm executing the Steve and I'm detecting if the block at Y1 is Sponge uh, 0, I guess. And if it is, what is he gonna do? He's gonna kill the item that's nearby him, that meaning the shear. So we have to give the player a game or two. Uh, yeah, I don't know what item I... Yeah, record 11. I don't know if it's called like that. It's called... Yeah, record 11. Okay, I got it right. So let's gonna give the item. Meaning that when a ta an entity with the tag Steve is gonna come nearby that, he's gonna actually get the item. Now we're gonna test it out ourselves. So we're gonna do scoreable players tag add 
uh, P Steve and when we go I, I, I messed up the command okay uh, like this okay and when we go here as you can see nothing is gonna happen yeah of course nothing happens because this line is deactivated from the start so I need to deactivate it uh, afterwards I have to remember because you know it needs to be reset but if I go here as you can see the, the shear is gonna disappear and I get no item Oh, of course, of course, this has to be conditional, first of all, and then, second of all, this doesn't have to be C equals 1, or it's gonna basically kill all every single item, it has to be, like, in a radius, so I'm gonna do, like, a radius, uh, I'm gonna, I need the coordinates still, so, yeah, li like this, as you can see, and then the radius of 1, so now it's gonna kill only that item, and I'm gonna receive only one of the things, now we're gonna put a grass block, we're gonna go here, and as you can see, I will lose it, but I'm still getting nothing. Oh, because I'm not in Game of 2, duh. So I do this, I go in Game of 2, and I get the shears. So this works. Now, naturally, before going, just one last thing, I have to make it so you get the shears, 1, 0. But they have to have a display name, and they have to be called uh, uh, shears. I, I'm gonna do shear, because it has to be the verb. Okay, so now, when I start one more time, I'm gonna drop this on the ground, I'm gonna go... I dropped the wrong, oh no, I dropped the wrong item, oh this is bad, now it's gonna start playing. Okay, to reset it, I have to give myself the stop item and I have to do this, okay, now it's reset. Now we're gonna try it one more time, without dropping the wrong item this time. <laughs> we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do Gimo 2, and we're gonna go here, and I'm getting, okay, I think I, I got the block first. Okay, now, now, now it works. So we did it. Wait, what? Okay, so we did this again, and as you can see, when I go, it works. Uh, now, what I need to do is remove from myself the tag, uh, player tag, P, remove, uh, Steve. So, only when the Steve will go, it will work. And as you can see, now I'm working on the shields, but nothing is happening. So, yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this mapping video. I'm gonna do more of these, and it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, and also make a little bit more of the map. Naturally, when the next video comes out, I already completed this level. So, we're gonna be starting uh, and doing level 4. And I think there are gonna be 10 levels, so, you know, be prepared, because this is gonna be awesome. So, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Me and this little sheep will say bye. Okay, yeah, bye.